Books are hoodah! Hello, it's Sandy. Today I'm wearing orange because it's dreary as F outside. So, today I have for you an unhaul of massive proportions. Let's, let's lift this up here. This is a an unhaul that I... I think I went through these books as I was setting up these bookshelves on this side of the room. It's kind of sad to say goodbye to these books, but it's also time. I think I've admitted to myself I am never going to read them or I... You know, I have read them, I don't want to keep them anymore. All right, so the first one, it's one I've kept for a long time, but I've, I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to read it. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, mm, it's such a nice, cool book. Maybe I will keep it. It's a Pelican book. Um, I bought it used somewhere. It's a short history of English, English literature. I mean, it's by Penguin. When was it published? 1940. It's really old. I do this every time, but I think I'm gonna keep it because it's cool. So never mind. I'm rehauling. I'm keeping that. I was gonna get rid of the two Game of Thrones, two and three. Maybe I should keep them though, because I'm never. I don't want to read book three. I haven't even started it. I'm never. I don't want to read these. No. Be strong. I'm getting rid of them. I forced my way through a Clash of Kings. I only like watching the show. I don't really like reading the books. <sighs> Goodbye, Game of Thrones 2 and 3. This one I bought after seeing the movie. I was like, I'm gonna read it! It's gonna be great! And then I, I, went to the, I went to Walmart immediately after the movie theater to buy it, and I haven't cracked it at all. Gillian Flynn's Gone Girl. I really don't see myself ever reading it. I would just rather watch the movie again. So, perfectly brand new copy. Just by sampler of viz manga i've almost gotten rid of this like in all of my unhauls before it's victorian fantasy by stefan prickett you know in universities they give professors give away books that they don't want anymore just in like piles and i picked this up because i was a victorian person it matches but i don't think i'm ever gonna read it so why is that's the jabberwocky on the front now i'm noticing that these are essays they're not even stories they're essays about victorian fantasy so no. I have a bunch of Dragonlance books I'm getting rid of, which I try- my brother got me these a long time ago and I feel kind of bad, but I don't think I'm ever going to get around to them. So I have this whole trilogy, the War of Souls books, um, I just don't ever see myself ever reading them. That is followed by this one, Dragons of the Lost Star. Basically I read Dragonlance for Raceland, and these are Racelandless books. So, so that trilogy, say goodbye. Another trilogy I'm gonna say goodbye to is the Hunger Games books. I don't think I'm ever gonna read these again because I would rather just watch the movies, honestly. The movies are better. The writing is really juvenile. So goodbye to those. I'm getting rid of this copy of the Shannara Chronicles that I got um, for free at BookCon last year because I have the I have a hardcover copy and those are easy to read. Um, and I don't really think I'm gonna, I don't know that I'll ever read these anyway. So. Also from BookCon, a freebie that I got, Da Vinci's Tiger. This was from Owl Crate. You spun a wheel and you got a freebie and uh, it's absolutely ridiculous first line. <sighs> I beg your pardon, I am a mountain tiger. Enough said. And finally, I'm getting rid of my hardcover copy of The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern because Aaron Dillman bought me a paperback copy and I prefer reading paperbacks and it's from Aaron, so I want that copy instead. Oh, that's actually not as big of an unhaul as I expected it to be. Um, that's pretty short for me, actually. Nope, I'm doing it. I'm getting rid of this. I'm never gonna read it. I'm putting it at the bottom so I don't ever see it. <sighs> okay, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great Monday or Tuesday, whatever day you're watching this. See you again soon. Books to it all. Happy May.